For decades now, while those on the left have sought to erode gun rights, they have at the same time shrieked, we're not coming for your guns, no one's coming for your guns, with the exception of Better O'Rourke. Hell yes, we're going to take your AR-15, your AK-47. We're not going to allow it to- Now, the entire shtick of we're not coming for your guns has been dropped. Biden is talking about how nobody needs an AR-15 and they're going to take it away. At the same time, Trudeau is talking about how nobody needs a pistol. Biden, for his part, claims that 9mm ammo can blow out a lung. And I know some people who would like some of that 9mm ammo. He's got the good stuff, apparently? I know, that's what Hunter usually says. But anyway, we're talking about rights demanded under the doctrines of natural law, not about needs in any event. If we were talking about needs, though, there are up to 2.5 million defensive uses of firearms every year, according to the CDC. It might behoove us to consider that our system of governance was set up for a moral people, which is to say, a Christian people. Otherwise, we're not arguing about the same morals, really, are we? But do we have a society that's reflective of that at this point? I mean, why are these mass shootings more likely now than in the past, FBI involvement aside. I recently wrote an article about this actually that may articulate the point better, but I do think that we have a youth in our country and even throughout the West, I would say, that doesn't see the value of their own lives, doesn't see the value of human life. And that's not surprising when you look around at the culture in which we're raising these kids and at the system of education which tells them essentially they have no value, they do not matter, they will be forgotten, they have no sort of purpose and meaning in life whatsoever and I don't think it's possible to fix that um, without a, a Christian message that says actually you matter before God no matter what. Um, and so no, I'm not suggesting here by the way that we should disarm people, that's not it at all. I am suggesting that we should re-examine the state of society and culture as being real causes of such things not guns, because guns aren't the reason that a person has the urge to want to kill another human being randomly. You know, it's not the gun that's causing that. And nowadays as we look around, I think it's easy for those on the left, as they're doing right now, to say, well, you know, let's take away the, the thing that they're currently using to commit these atrocities. And it's like, well, we've had those guns for quite a while. Um, but what's new is, the belief that a certain person should just go into a supermarket, let's say, or a school and just start shooting at people at random without any actual cause because those people have not actually harmed you. Um, that's rather new in the, t you know, in modern terms, but, but why? It's like, well, we just told this kid, we raised this kid in a society that says, you don't matter. The only way to matter is to get enough clicks and views online. Maybe you'll matter, maybe you'll be significant for just a minute if you do any of that. If you showcase your rage and your hatred and your anger all at once onto the, onto the internet, people will actually pay attention to you and tell you that you matter. And we need a different society. Uh, Beto O'Rourke and Biden screaming about guns and ammo that they clearly know no nothing about is not actually helping the problem. But they're not interested in helping the problem because they are, in many ways, the problem. Because the very policies that they want to, that they want to put forth, that they want to push, are policies that undermine the human person. I mean, these are people who want, let's just say, lots of abortion, easy access of abortion. Well, what does abortion say? It says that a person has no value, that a person is just frankly, able to be killed if they're an inconvenience. Well, that's the culture that we're living in. And so from that one policy alone, you can see a society that's sort of like raising up and saying, well, there's no real value inherent to the human person. And it's not just that policy, but that's one of many in which we're raising people and we're saying, you don't have value, you're nothing, you're worthless. And there are some people who want to say, actually, no, I have worth, recognize me, see me. Um, and these kids need something different. They need a sense of direction. Wait, don't leave yet. I have more videos for you to watch. One of them is recommended by YouTube because you know how well it has built a profile of you. Yeah, and the other one's my most recent video so that you haven't already seen. So you can find something that you might enjoy. Also, there are links in the description below that'll help you to support the channel if you're so willing. And really, who doesn't want one of these mugs?